Income Tax 2021-2022 Tax Software Example Archer MSA Deduction and Jury Duty Pay. Get ready to get refunds to the max diving into Income Tax 2021-2022. Lacert Tax Software. You don't need access to tax software to follow along, but you might want the Form 1040, which you can find at the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. Starting out with the single filer, Adam Smith, living in Beverly Hills, 90210. The wages at line one, 100,000, 12,550 standard deduction, getting us to the 87,450 taxable income, mirroring that over on the income tax equation. Where we have the 100,000, we have then the 12,550 and the 87,450, letting the software calculate the tax here on page number two, and that is at the 1515. So let's put that in over here. That's our starting point, 15015. That's our starting point. Back on over, we're focused in on page one, number 10, adjustments to income from schedule one right there. Let's put a little check mark on it this time. That's what we should be doing check mark schedule number two this is going to be the i'm sorry schedule one page number two and then down here on line 23 we have the archer msa deduction 24 within the other deductions we got the jury duty pay you can see instructions related to that now it's less likely you're going to see the archer msa deduction it's more likely that you would see then up top the health savings account deduction and you might have documentation which look would look something like this the uh, form 5498 sa which is the hsa archer msa or medicare advantage and it would indicate down here in line six which it would be and if you had any questions on that you've got the instructions on the right hand side and then we've got the jury duty which is kind of that weird situation where we might have gotten reimbursed for the jury duty so that was a kind of an interesting scenario in other words here we're going to think about and enter your jury duty pay if you gave the pay to your employer because your employer paid your salary while you served on the jury duty so let's see if we can think about the scenario here if we got jury duty pay then in page one where we had income we have the additional income and let's say we've got the jury duty and that that means that we would get like a 1099 or something from uh, the, the local, from the locale, the state who charged us the jury duty, and we'd have to report that as income. So we'd say, okay, that then is on part one, we're in the other income. And so, and you might be saying, hey, I'm on the deduction side of things. Yeah, but we got, we're, the, we're telling the story here. So you gotta have the income first. We have to report the income because if we don't report the income, the IRS will see the 1099 from the state and they're going to say you didn't put that 1000 in place and therefore it could delay the return so that pulls over to the page one so now on page one let's bring it back on up my wages was at 100,000 100,000 and then going back on over so there we have it there's the 1000 there's the 101 but you're going to say hey but my employer paid me for the time that I went to jury duty and then they made me take that $1,000 and give it to them because they paid me during my time at the jury duty. So I didn't get to keep this $1,000. So I shouldn't have to report it as income because now I got to pay taxes on it when I didn't get to keep it because my employer paid me for that. Well, you can't take it away here because if you took it away, then the IRS will get confused because they gave you a 1099. So how do you fix that? Well, they say, well, then we'll give you the deduction on page two that'll net it out so if i go to page two here then we that's when we go into this jury duty pay and we could say okay i'll just net it out so that it doesn't mess up my filing and i don't have to pay taxes on it because i didn't get to keep that money jury duty pay so it's going to go right there going back to the forms so there it is so now you got it on page one and page two income and deduction netting itself out to get to the agi adjusted uh gross income so, so now we've got the wages up top, uh, including the 1,000, getting us the 101, but then we just took it right back out again and at the 1,000 here, bringing us back down to the 100,000. And so that's back to the, our starting point. So kind of interesting scenario, kind of work around to get to make things work here. So if you were to mirror that on our tax formula, we could say, okay, we got jury dirty duty pay, jury dirty pay, jury duty, jury duty pay, uh, and that's going to be some kind of income line item here, which I put on Schedule 1. It's on Schedule 1 over here. Jury duty, 1,000. 
and that pulls over to page one. So now that's 101, but I didn't get to keep it. So I get a deduction for it that's an above the line that's gonna be an adjustment for our adjusted gross income and above the line deduction, schedule one deduction. So I'm gonna go on over and say deduction, not itemized, and it's gonna be called jury duty. Let's make it, let's give some more room here, a little bit more elbow room, if you please. Jury, jury duty pay 1,000, 1,000, and we'll put some brackets around it, bracketized it, bracketized, and then we'll cop make this formula go down a bit. There it is, pulling that back on over. So now we've got it going back out again. So we're back down to the 100,000 adjusted gross income and we reported the income so that the IRS won't get confused. Don't confuse the IRS. It causes long delays and problems and it's easy to do. They get confused easy. Standard deduction 12,550 still. So we're still at the 87,450. Going back on, on over to the return, still at the 87,450 page number two. Then we're at the 1515 and 1515 there. So there is that. If you have any other kind of, you could go through some of these other uh, deductions down here if they come up in the other adjustments. So we got the jury duty and you could take a look at some of the other items if you had some other items less commonly coming up here. And if none of those apply, then possibly you can look into the other adjustment line number Z.